So it's three o'clock. I ate a Reuben bacon cheeseburger with fries and a great big deli sandwich. Now I'm trying to get a hitch out of town. Twice today I was offered a ride while I was just walking around town doing my resupply and that, so hopefully it won't take too long. Not as much traffic on the street. I'll give it a little bit. I'm about three miles from the trailhead, so I'd really much rather get a ride. It was four minutes before somebody offered me a ride. Uh, the Monson, Maine, people were so friendly up here. And I'm ready to get started on the trail. Quarter after three. Got time to get a few miles in before I have to make camp. This is right off the trailhead, but I don't need to go far today, so I'm going to go check out these falls. Definitely worth the side trip. I know they're going to get nasty eventually, but I've got brand new shoes. I do not want to get them nasty within hours of getting them. Blaze has had me just confused for a second. This is Lehman Brook. And then go up through there, up there, and there's a shelter up there. So I'm going to go up and find a spot to camp. Then come down and get put some water. I wasn't planning on staying in the shelter, but it doesn't have anybody in it yet. And not one fire pit, but two. And I just noticed this book up here. Zombies vs. Unicorns. I'm going to have to check that out. After I find a place to put up my tent, because my tent is still damp from yesterday, and I want this breeze to cool it out, or dry it off. So I'm getting a 9 o'clock start again. I'm starting to see a correlation with how cool the morning is with how hard it is for me to get out from underneath my quilt. But the next 30 miles are going to be rough. I'm not going to do big miles. And I'm almost done, but almost done is not the same as being done. So I'm going to get started. Feeling good. Pack feels a little bit lighter. And ready to get after it. Uphill. Here's North Pond, has an island in the middle. And the water is super clear. That stuff you can see down there is very deep. You can see a bunch of bugs too. Haven't had any big climbs. Bunch of little stuff to climb. And it is hard to find a flat spot to put your foot anywhere. There's roots everywhere. This is Little Wilson Falls. I'll get a shot from below. This is the Little Wilson Stream. And in the guide they say, pretty much not gonna get across with dry feet. I see places where I can try, and try to minimize how wet I get. And it sounds like a good way to end up falling and getting soaked. So, I'm gonna cross right over there going on up the hillside so shoes are wet but not completely soaked not bad all right uphill then we gotta have another beaver bog little ledge see the beaver pond down there it's a pretty day I got some more uphill. Been walking along the rock ledge for a ways. Sun's a little warm, but I'm sure I'll be in the shade soon. This is Big Wilson Stream. I'm not about to cross it yet, but I'm looking forward to it.
this is where they want us to cross Big Wilson Stream. And they say there is no way to do it with dry feet. And I believe them. So I'm glad I put the phone in the Ziploc. Got wet up about mid-thigh. And now I get some more uphill. So I am not making good time today. Uh, hasn't been like any huge climbs or anything. Just constant up and down. A lot of times it's roots. Right now it happens to be rocks. Although sometimes there are pine needles. This is Wilbur Brook. Not my water source for the evening, but I'm out of water. And this is just a really pretty stream. Water looks clear. I'm gonna get a bottle. Now I'm a few miles from where I think I'm gonna camp tonight. It's about four o'clock, but the miles have been going slow. This is Vaughn Stream. And it's very pretty, but the water is not as clear as the last place. See, it's pretty dark. So I'm glad I got water there. And I think I'm just a few miles from the shelter. Been seeing a lot of hikers, so it's gonna be crowded. But that's all right. I just hope nobody makes a fire before I get there. Here's a long pond stream. See a lot of people getting water. I think this is the best place to get water before the shelter. Now I'm gonna try to get across with dry feet. Or I might. There's been a lot of really nice looking flat tent sites. That one's huge. Right after crossing, which from the picture you saw, those rocks were slicker than anything. I took one step. I'm lucky I didn't get washed down. But I made it across about seven tenths of a mile from the shelter. The only reason I really want to go there is because if I'm going to call it an early day, I want to have a campfire. This is my water source for the night. I'm a tenth, two tenths of a mile from the campsite. Get to climb up that. So I already went up and dropped off my pack. That looks like an easier way to go up. And litter, I'll pick it up. So the shelter was full. People are scrounging to find tent spots. Wasn't really sure about setting up my tent here, so I'm cowboy camping. And been a pretty good night. Got here around 5, 5.30. Made a fire, ate my dinner. And now I need to hurry up and go to sleep before I eat all my snacks. All right, it is about a quarter till eight. I'm back to the trail. Slept all right. Put on dry socks this morning. Last night, my shoes were wet. And this morning, they were cold and wet. So, there's more Fords coming up and I'm running out of dry socks. I got dry socks hanging on the back of the pack to dry. And I need to do some miles today. And I've got a lot of uphill in the next 1.2 miles, I've got 1,100 foot of uphill. Nothing to do but to keep hiking it. Slow going this morning. Part of the reason is that it's steep. Started to run out of steam and I think that's probably because last night I set out my daily Pop-Tart so it'd be easy to get in the morning. And middle of the night, me ate it. So I already ate a snack. I wasn't really planning on going down there, but uh, now I'm pretty sure I wanted to, but I can't. It's closed. This is Barren Ledges of Barren Mountain. And I'm not really that close to the top of Barren Mountain yet. All right, I think I'm getting close to the top. Top of Barren Mountain.
And there is an old fire tower. Let's see. I don't feel the need to climb that one. Heading up Fourth Mountain over by Chairback Mountain. And uh, here's a plane, bit of a fixer upper. Anyway, wasn't expecting that. More uphill. It's noon, done seven miles. I'm in between the fourth and third peak of the Chairback Mountains. And the trail's not too bad going down. It's just a really pretty quiet day. Getting ready to head up to the top of the fourth mountain of the West Chairback Mountains. Well, sat for a break and then trail magic. A young man hiked up calories for people and ate a couple of little Debbies, and the difference I can feel is insane. But I forgot to get video of the mountains around, but I'll get another view, because I'm going down from Chairback Third Mountain over to Columbus Mountain. This is the outlet from West Chairback Pond. Looks like the pond is full. Normally I don't like to drink pond water, but I also didn't want to carry a bunch of water up and down the mountain, so I'm going to filter some, get some to drink, and take some with me. A little bit rocky, heading that way. It's 2 o'clock. Is there a problem with the idea that I'm already looking forward to laying down? So I think I just went over the peak of Columbus Mountain. No views, would it? Just getting a little bit closer. The young man that provided trail magic uh, gave the name of a lot of these peaks. And I don't remember what they are. But the big one, that right there is White Cap. That's my last big mountain, and I should be able to cruise to Katahdin. And from up there, I should be able to see Katahdin. Thing is, I'm not going to be up there till tomorrow, and tomorrow there's a chance of rain. But that's just the way it goes. All right, at Chairback Mountain, and they say this is the easternmost peak of the barren Chairback Range. This is the last one for me today. So I don't remember the name of any of those peaks except for White Cap right over there. And it should be cruising once I get down from White Cap. Now I think I've got about five miles of mostly downhill where I hope to find some water and a flat place to lay down that isn't too crowded. I think a lot of the hikers that were at the same shelter as me, plus some that had stealth camp before and after. We're all planning on kind of going down into this valley to camp. There's a the trail over here. I'm sure I'll find a spot. I may have overestimated how quickly I would be heading down. Still pretty up here though. This right here would be a lot more fun if it wasn't the end of the day. The trail did get easier. About three miles away from the next good water source, where I'll start looking for a place to camp, and it's five o'clock.